Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to my series where I explore things that I never really took part in when The Sims 3 was at its peak because I hated The Sims 3 for like the first two years. We are back in Egypt, The Sims 3 World Adventures and thank you to everyone who helped out in the first part of this. I have never really explored this pack too much so thank you to everyone giving me tips Tips. Loads of you told me to start clicking along the walls and like running my cursor along there because there are secret hallways. Basically, we are in the Great Pyramid right now. I have to find the Relic of Eternity. I'm fairly sure this is the last like relic I have to find for this story. But I also found out that if I go to my Sims opportunities down here, so obviously it tells me what the relic is about. That meal was quite scrumptious. You've earned the information to seek. You must go to the Great Pyramid and find the Relic of Eternity. However, I have an adventure journal. I am currently a level two in the visa level. My lifetime aspiration is to reach a uh, visa level level three in all three countries of world adventure. So we have Egypt, China, and France. I think I'm gonna do China next. Loads of you are like, oh, you should probably go to China first because you can unlock like a magical hammer or something that can help you clear the big rocks in Egypt. So my bad, I didn't know that. I've never played through this pack in its entirety, but I've done three visits. I've spent eight days so far in Egypt. It also tells you about the relics you found. It tells you about your adventures that you currently have going on, your collections. It's really handy and I really like the UI of it. Like it literally looks like a lost journal, like a historical guide. I will say this pack is way more of like a walkthrough than I thought it would be. I know The Sims 3 is open world and technically you don't really have to do the story like plot by plot. I'm really just doing that because I've never really played it too much. I guess you could come here without ever having clicked on the notice board and like explore the tombs and the pyramids in their fullest like just by yourself which is nice. That's what the like option of open world gives you but we have found a secret door so we are gonna open this bad boy. I can push and pull these, but I don't know where I'm meant to push and pull them to. Oh no, I was hoping this door was gonna lead to something. I'll collect the loot. I have started collecting the loot. I know it's terrible in real life to like go through and steal other countries things that belong to them and I definitely don't promote that. However, for this game, I don't know what I do need and what I don't need, so I'm just collecting everything. So please just keep that in mind. This really isn't giving me any tips whatsoever. It's like, hmm, have fun figuring this out. Oh wait, I just pulled it forward once and then this little thing showed its face. I reckon this is gonna be a massive like task. I reckon we're gonna have to do so. Wow, why was that so loud? So many puzzles and we will pull this one and hopefully this will open something up. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 okay. Why are you so loud? For what? No, do not attempt to cross. That sounds like the silliest of ideas if you ask me, but we do need to try and get that star. So let's go and inspect this doorway. Oh my God, that, that trigger over there opened up another secret doorway. I swear the design work that went into this game is impeccable. Like the size of this expansion pack is wild to me, especially playing The Sims 4 for so long. Like the amount of content that expansions used to have in them, 
Like, it's just unreal. Definitely a strong point of The Sims 3, for sure. We're gonna open this doorway. The puzzles are just so good. Right, we're gonna go through this door. They actually do take, like, time to figure out, which I quite like. Ooh, I've never seen these traps before. Why is the floor wet? I haven't come across a mummy yet and I'm really scared because they can they can put like a death curse on you and this is the only sim in my household so I am absolutely screwed if I happen to come across a mummy which I really don't want to happen. How did I- how was I meant to see that? <laughs> This little thing was like in the freaking like darkest corner of this place. Like how, how, how was I meant to see that Sims team? Who made this? I actually know that OBS makes The Sims 3 darker than what it actually is. I've tried to play around with all of my like color correction settings to get it like as accurate as what it is on my screen personally, but it is just like a dark game as well. And even without like OBS messing it up, I don't know how I was meant to find this little gremlin dude. Also, it freaks me out when it does this. Why does it keep pausing? I'm gonna have to keep saving my game. I currently don't have any other packs installed other than World Adventures because I was like, I know how The Sims story runs when there's a bit of pressure on it. I only want World Adventures, especially because like this is the one that I really haven't played a lot and I knew that I wanted it to be my first one. But even so, it like keeps like getting a little bit funky and it scares me every time. I feel like I've definitely jinxed myself by saying I haven't seen a mummy yet either. Oh, what's going on here then? There's three that side, there's three this side, and we need to open this. Do I just need to try all of them? That seems like a really, a really bad idea. This hole is empty. Oh, just like my heart. Right, let's go try this one first of all. I'm scared. Apparently I'm too scared. If you have testing cheats enabled true on, you can just control. What is with these noises? Of course I'm scared. The Sims is coming out with noises like that. Like, yeah, I am. I am gonna be scared. I feel like every single one. Why? Why you gotta give me another? This one's green. Should it be like green means go? Should, should that be the one? Am I being silly? Should I just go straight to the green one? I don't know, because green could mean go, or it also could be very, very ominous indeed. But I'm gonna I'm gonna trust my gut and go with green means go. Okay, green apparently did mean go. That was very easy. Wow, fire. <laughs> what was that? That was the weirdest thing that's ever come out of my mouth. Is there a statue around here? There is a plum bob cut alabaster. Little alabastered, I will grab you. Also, I feel like I'm on Fortnite. Everyone has got back into Fortnite recently. Like, my friendship group, all the girls are like, are we playing Fortnite? And I sat and watched them the other day and I genuinely felt like a little kid. You know, when you like watch your big sibling like play video games, it brought me back. And I was like, oh my God, I genuinely love watching people play video games. Maybe that's why I do the job that I do because <laughs> I know how enjoyable it is to watch other people play games because I grew up with it. Like I would always watch my brother play games when I was little and then I passed the torch and then my niece watched me play video games when she was little. I feel like I'm absolutely gonna see a mummy. There's Ooh, I can insert a keystone here. Oh no, oh no. Please don't be a mummy. Okay, there's loads of remains in this bad boy, which I do not like. I probably should have kept that keystone. I feel like it was a bit, cause I could have smashed through here. I feel like I should have kept it just in case, just as a spare, an air and a spare. I know I'm not doing a legacy challenge, nor will I ever. I did not see that trap. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no, put yourself out. Do I not have anything to put myself out with? Why would I come here without anything? I have a shower in a can. Use a shower in a can. 
Use that shower in a can. Put yourself out. Thank you very much. Jeez Louise. Right, how about we disarm that? I'm too scared to risk it. <laughs> I don't think I am though. I think I'm fine though. I think I'm good. I would know. It's my sim self. Why do they keep appearing? Please use another one. Please don't die. Were they there before or like, did they just arrive? I think they just arrived. I don't think they were there. I think I personally would have noticed them if they were there this entire time. Oh, that's fun. Can't go back. Guess we can only go forward. In the wise words of Jory, just keep swimming, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna save my game. I am scared. I know that everyone's scared of mummies and like everyone, like Sims 3 strikes that fear in me. Maybe it's because we have burglars in the Sims 3. I don't know. Oh, I should have inspected this. Please don't be a mummy. Oh, I got the earth core. Okay, that's good. That is good. No mummy in sight as of right now. Okay, I'm gonna inspect this real quick. I should have known. Green, again. Always, always green, apparently. Oh wait, there's coins. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me get those ancient coins. Thank you very much. I have 1,100. I don't know what they do. Good job I saved that keystone. It's a bloody good job I saved that keystone. Because I feel like that is going to help me. But what am I missing out on if I don't go down here? Nothing? Oh, damn. Look at me go. I guess I'll go through this door then. I'll just do a cheeky little hack, shall I? Is this going to set off a trap? Uh. I guess you could say I saw that one coming. I guess that's what you could say. Oh, there's just a... I guess I'm gonna use the toilet. I could also have a bath if I wanted to. Whose rubber duck is this? Who is trying to tell me that the mummies used rubber ducks? <laughs> was rubber even around back then? I don't think it was. I'm just laying a fat one, you know. Oh, wait, I laid a fat one and it... It opened... It opened a special hole. I mean, that also happens when you lay a fat one. It's got to be a, f a big fat one for that to happen, though. I found the lodestone key. Is that the one that I need? I'm not too sure. Lodestone, because I dropped a load. How did I know? Oh my god, I have the same brain as whoever created that puzzle. They were like, you know what? English Summer, she's going to know. She is going to know that you have to take a fat one in that toilet. It it just matches up with her. I can see it now. Didn't even have a channel. Didn't even have my username when, <laughs> when this game came out. But that's okay. Still, they knew how my brain was going to work. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not going back in there. I'm not doing it, lads. You can't make me. You can't make me go back in there. I did, however, get the keystone that I think I needed for this door right here. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 oh no. There's mummies, there's mummies, there's mummies. What do I do? What do I do here? I've never read up what to do in a mummy situation and no one... No one let me know what I do when there's a mummy. Defeat a mummy. Mummies may be slow, but they sure know how to put up a fight. Your sim wants to test their bravery to defeat a mummy. I don't know why, but that sounds like a real bad idea. Please burn. Disco Inferno, burn. Mummies, burn. Disco Inferno. Oh, look at them. Don't want to do it. I'm going to let a mummy out. I'm going to let a mummy out. This is a silly idea. This is a very, very silly idea, I think. I can't do anything to interact with them. No, don't, don't, don't go right up to them. If I take their stuff, they're gonna, they're gonna hate me. Oh my goodness, I am scared, I am scared. Oh no, 
Oh no, they're both on me. Oh no, 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 no. Please don't be attacked by mummy. Oh no, oh no. I really, I really, I really don't have a good enough athletic skill for this. <gasps> Knocked out. I've not got the curse of the mummy, I don't think. But this one, is this one now coming for me? Oh yep, I'm being attacked again for a second time. Why do I didn't, why didn't I go to China first? Molly thought it would never happen, but alas, she has been cursed by mummy. That mummy has left you with more than just a scratch. The airy feeling of doom must be remedied by the sphinx before too late. Okay, I'm gonna open this. I'm sorry, I know. I'm a terrible person for stealing your things. Oh man, I'll, I'll take that. Do I wanna look inside here? If it's not cured, your sim may perish. I'm too scared to do that right now. I don't think I am. Once again. Can you stop telling me how I feel, please? I don't need a game to dictate how I feel in 2021. Did that all throughout 2020. <laughs> Where do I go? Do I have to go like... We have 14 days. Okay, we have a little bit of time to figure this curse out. I'm gonna throw that one out there. However... I have no idea what I need to do to get rid of it. Do I need to go visit the Sphinx? As if 2021 wasn't cursed already, I'm now cursed in The Sims 3. My first time playing World Adventures. You know what? I feel like it's a warm embrace. I feel like every single World Adventure player needs to go through that at some point. Fantastic! With your aid, Morky Corp Resistance has secured all of the sacred relics before they were stolen. I will make sure all of them are hidden away forever from evil corporations. You've done a fine thing here, and we couldn't have done it without you. Here's something I scraped together to reward your effort, and the local population will be sure to adore you as well. We got 35 visa points and 500 ancient coins. Look at me. Go. However, I'm still only 33% of the way complete of Visa level 3. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to do some more exploring on my own, which is quite nice. But I should probably go see the Sphinx in the next part of this and get that cure. The Great Sphinx. I think this is where I need to go. Leave it in the comments down below. How the heck do I get this cure? I don't mind a bit of backseat gaming because I need to know. But thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this part. Thank you all so much as well. I know Sims 3 is different to be on the channel, um, but you guys really seem to enjoy the first part of this that I did last time. So thank you all so much for your help once again. Let me know how I get this cure fixed up. And then I think after I am cured, we're going to go to China and explore over there which will be fun. I appreciate you all so much and I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye now.